Hello friends, welcome back to our channel and in this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate you how to prepare a study area map for a particular location. Before getting to this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates on GIS related videos. So let, let's get started. I am just going to demonstrate you how to prepare a study area map in QGIS software. So this is an open source software which can be used by anyone. So now we need different data set. I have opened QGIS platform. We need all the administrative boundaries for preparing a study area map. So I will just show you different sources from where we can download our administrative boundary. So there are different sources from which we can download our administrative boundaries. The first one is Viva GIS. You can see free spatial data. Click on free spatial data. Once you click on free spatial data, you will find an option called country level data. Go to country level data and you can find different country. Whichever country you want, you can actually like download the data. For example, if I need it for US, you have to select US and you will you have to select US. You will get different layers. You have to go with administrative data. And in case if you are working with Indian conditions, then I have actually like provided a link in the description below where you can get the updated shape files so this is the location where we actually have all the updated shape files what you can do is just click on this code and you will find an option called download zip you can just click on that and you can download the data in case if you want to download it for some other location just select the administrative boundaries and you can simply click ok and you will get an option to download it. Once you click on this download, the data will be automatically downloaded. So these two sources are mostly sufficient enough for downloading any of the data sets that is required for the preparation of our study area map. In case if you have any mismatching with the boundary which is present in this particular website, what you can do is like you can go to your country's official website and you can download the data. So now, as you see, we have downloaded the data. We can extract the data out. So we need to choose a particular location for the preparation of our study area map. So in this particular example, I'm going to go with uh, Kodagu district of Karnataka as the example. So first you can see here there are like different json files either you can make use of this json files or inside each state you will actually like find sorry inside each folders you will find this shape files and as far as district is concerned you will find for each and every district you will find different uh, gpkg files so the first thing that i am in need of is the indian state boundary so i'm just opening the indian boundary over here in qgis So this is the updated Indian boundary and next I have to open the district boundary. So I am just focusing on Kodagu district of Karnataka. So I just need to go to Karnataka file and I am opening the Karnataka file. So this is the shape file of, uh, of the Karnataka districts. So as you can see this is actually our uh, Kodagu district. So for this, I'm going to prepare a study area map. So we can see like the, I have, I don't, when I started, I didn't have any layers, but right now I have two different layers. The one is the Indian boundary or the Indian shape file that is for the entire country. And next is the Karnataka state boundary. So what I should do next is I need to extract different features. For example, like this is uh, the district uh, shape file of entire Karnataka. What I need is I want only Kodagu district. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select, um, click on this select features by area and I'm just going to select this Kodagu district. Once I select this Kodagu district, the particular feature alone will be getting highlighted in yellow color. And after selecting it, what you have to do is go to the particular shape file in this layer, click on export and you will find an option called save selected feature as. 
what you have to do is click on the save selected feature as you will find an option where to save it I am going to create a folder here this is going to be Kodahu file so I am just going to create a folder here so this is Kodahu So please make sure in this encoding there will be an option called save only selected features. I have to extract only Kodagu. So I am just clicking on, I am making sure that this is enabled and then you can just click on OK. Now if you see, I just ex extracted Kodagu. Next what I should do is, I have entire Karnataka. But the thing is like it is having all the districts. But I need only Karnataka for my purpose. Only the boundary of Karnataka. So what I am doing is, I am selecting Karnataka, first I have to select the layers in my layers panel, then I should select Karnataka and I should follow the same process. Karnataka state. So now I have entered the name, I am just clicking on save. So now what I have done is, I have created this layer of like I have extracted Karnataka alone, I have extracted Kodagu district alone. So this is our Kodagu district and now I have this India map. And as far as Tamil Nadu is concerned in this particular location, we have some polygon issues. What we have to do is we have to like modify or you have, you have to edit it and you have to rectify all these issues. These are some gaps which has to be rectified. But other than that, we have all the data which is required right now. The first thing is, I have an India, entire India shapefile, I have it with me right now. And the next thing is, I have my Karnataka state boundary alone. And next, I have my Kuda. What I should do next is, I have to focus only on Kuda When I am preparing a study area map, what are the features that should be listed on Kuda that I should make a note of it. So when it comes to this particular uh, data, I should like uh, list out all the road network. I should list all most of the important places. Then there will be like other features which I might have to represent. So basically like uh, when it comes to representing features, what we'll do is like we'll mention at least the important places that are present inside this particular district. Other than road network. You have to mention the road network then that's fine but still in some cases at least like we'll mention the important places in case if you want to download the places we have a separate website for that which is pasted in the description you can check it out so this is a particular link where you can download the buildings information land use information natural features places point of interest railways highways and water bodies so what I am going to do is, I am just going to download the important places alone. So I am just making sure I make a single click. Once I am done with it, you can actually like go and you can copy this file. You can extract the file as a separate folder. And if you open that particular file in your QGIS, you can see that this particular places information will be provided for all over India. What I need is, I want only the information for Kodagu. What I will do is like, you just have to go to vector. In geo processing tools, you will find an option called clip. Select clip. So you should select the input layer and overlay layer. The input layer should be the places and the overlay layer should be our Karnataka, sorry, Kodagu district boundary. Once you are done with it, provide where the information has to be saved and then you will find the clipped feature. So now I got the points. If you see in this particular location, I have so many points. I don't need these many number of points. If you just open the attribute table, you can find all these information. So this means is county. That means like it is representing the entire district. We have towns, villages and other stuff. We actually like, we don't need villages. So I'm removing the villages out. This is in a local language, so I am removing it out. I am removing the uh, Kodagu, like 
the district and other than that schools are not required i feel like junction is also not required other than this like i feel madikeri is uh, required this is the town it is required so fine that's selected already but all the other informations i have actually like selected what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete all these fields now if you see i have 11 places and if you check in this particular map it is like approximately distributed and in here i'm just removing this particular point and at this place also i'm removing both of them okay now i guess like this will be like a better representation of my particular studio only these places are the major places i'm just clicking on save and now yes i'm done so these are the places that i have to actually like mark in my particular map so what i should do now to name all these points so i have to go to properties and in properties like we'll find symbology so whatever the symbols that you want we can actually like give it i'm just going to give a red dot to it if you want to change the size of that particular symbol you can change it over here i'm making the necessary changes and then i'll go to labels i'm just i'm just going to give the column name that is name as my particular uh, uh, name that has to be displayed or the labels that has to be display displayed font i'm giving it as times new roman bold whatever the size you want you can actually like give it i'm formatting buffer please make sure to give buffer only then it will be like kind of appearing in a good way i'm done with all the modifications you can just click apply and okay now this is how my names will be displayed in my map so this is like kind of so big in this particular image so you know we don't have to actually like worry about it what we can do is we have to like ex we are going to export it as a map so we should actually like focus on how it will appear in a map so we don't have to make any modifications right now let it keep let us keep it as such and now i got the points what do i need next few might be like interested in road networks and other uh, data set but in my case i am actually in need of a google earth image for this particular study area so what i am going to do is i am just going to go to web and you will find an option called quick map services in case if this option is not present in your system what you have to do is go to plugins go to manage and install plugins click on it you will find an like the manage and install plugins toolbar will be like appearing over here so what you can do is you can search for quick map services once you like install this quick map services you will find quick map services under your web by default all these layers won't be listed in your panel what you have to do is you have to go to settings and in settings you will find an option called more services click on that more services and make sure to click on this get contributed back once you click on this get contributed back it will be like there will be an option called extra like all the packages has been successfully installed yeah you can see here latest version of contribution pack was downloaded you can just click okay and you can click on save now if you go to web and quick map services you will find an option called google i am in need of google image you can go with the, ESRA data or you can go with Bing Maps whatever the data it is required you can go with it I'm going to go with Google satellite image so this is the satellite image of my Kodagu district what I'm going to do is I'm just going to export the image that is shown in the screen and I'm just going to crop georeference this particular image and then I'm going to like crop it for my particular once i say that i'm going to georeference it you may feel that there is a huge task but as far as qgis is concerned we don't need any universal map downloader or we don't need any other fine uh, like tools like elsail gis to download the data what we can do is i'll show you a very simple procedure go to project just open your satellite image and don't open any other images just open only your google image go to project you will find an option called import 
bar export go to export map to image okay so by default you will find one window and you will see the extents and other stuffs you don't have to disturb anything if you want you can change the resolution to 300 other than that you don't have to change any, you don't have to make any modifications just click on save it will show ask you where to save it go to desktop and you can save it now you can find it is actually saved in the name of college so i'm just going to remove my satellite image right now that is the google satellite image what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the consent raster layer so you can see here this is the college tiff that I have actually like downloaded since I have named it as college so this is a google earth image you can see in the coordinates box this is actually geo referenced and if you zoom in and zoom out or if you place your particular boundary over it it will be actually geo referenced you don't have to make any changes just by clicking and exporting it you will get a google image that is geo referenced now I have to like clip the data for my particular study area alone so what I have to do is raster will you have to go to the extraction you will find an option called clip raster by mask layer so the input is going to be college and the mask layer is going to be Kodagu district it lasts for source and target projection by default that is 4326 if you select it that's fine if you don't select it also that is fine so I'm going to go with 4326 projection only that is geographical coordinate system projection so now I'm saying just Kodagu, I just renamed it um, in a proper way. So now, if I click on run, you can see that now my output will be exactly extracted Google Earth image of this Kodagu district. So, this is what I need in this particular place. So, now I have the places over it, and next I have my Kodagu district boundary. What I want is I want a hollow boundary so I'm going to change it as in the solid fill I'm going to make it as no brush I'm going to extend the thickness of the particular um, line network so now if you see here at the edges you can see the black colors and it is like clearly finished out and this is my Kodogu boundary right this is the study area map that I'm going to prepare right now. So when it is when it comes to study area, basically what we'll do is like we'll have one India map, we'll have one uh, like uh, Karnataka map, and then only like we'll show our uh, Kodagu district. So for that purpose, what you have what you have to do is you have to select all the layers. That is only those layers should be enabled in the layers panel. And if you go click on this I button in your layers. Panel, that is the third option you will find an option called add theme select this add theme and this should be for Kodagu so I'm going to name it as Kodagu this theme is going to be Kodagu so now I have created one theme and in the second theme that is like now the main map content is ready so the second content in the bottom will is going to be my Indian state boundary or like you can say Indian um, entire boundary of India along with its state and I also like to have Karnataka in it so if you go with the colors I'm going to change the colors out so I'll go with some kind of like uh, yeah. some few light colors and then I'm going to go with for Kodagu I'm just going to go with some light blue color or I'll go with some pinkish colors. Yeah. So now I would be, I am able to like differentiate it. So this is going to be my second layer. That is entire Indian. This is going to be the India stuff. And after this, I'm just going to have a third map. That is going to be my Kodagu district map. So what I have to do is, I'm just going to duplicate this layer because I need one more boundary of Kodagu. So I'm just going to duplicate it 
and Karnataka is also like I'm going to duplicate it. So I've got the duplicate in the link here. So these two layers are going to be my third layer, and for this, I'm just going to give another color. So I'll make sure to give something in yellow. So I just maybe like I'll go with blue color for this. I should make sure to select this since I have selected this one. No pressure with it. I'm just going to install it. Yeah. So now this is my Kodago boundary. So as you see, it's very clear right now. And this is going to be my third layer that is for Karnataka. So now I have created three different themes. All my layers are ready. So the first thing is this is going to be my Indian layer and the second is this is going to be my Kodahu or the main content of my map and the third is going to be for Karnataka. So now I have prepared all these required layers out or like the required three maps I just prepared it out. What you have to do next is click on project you will find an option called new print layout. Click on new print layout type whatever the name you want I'm just going to use this study area once you click on the study area you will get this particular window in this particular window when comes to any sort of maps there are like certain components that are mandatory so we we'll list one by one so in QGIS in your layers panel if you go under items sorry if you go under add item you will find all the details so I'll go one by one. The first thing that I'm in need of is I need a map. So I'm just going to create this particular map over here. I will be like actually in need of three different maps because one is the main content of Kodagu and the next two are going to be one is for India and the next is going to be for Karnataka. So I'm clicking on add map. And this is going to be my for entire India. And this is going to be for Karnataka. So yes. So now it's done. So I have like created the layer, like I have imported the map, but still only like I'm seeing uh, Karnataka over there, Karnataka boundary over there. So what should we do for that? In item properties, you will find an option called layers. And over here, if you click on this I button, you will find three different options which we can just going to click on Kodagu and go to this move item content option if you just zoom in you will get the Kodagu map that is required for your layer so I am just adjusting the zoom size so that it should, it should match perfectly to our requirement so this is what I need right now right? maybe like I will make it as something around 5 so, that is, yeah. so this is fine so first I prepared my uh, Kodogu map. So the next thing is I have to get my India map here. So I'm going to put India. So I'm just going to use new map item and I'm going to reduce it. If you want you can reduce it. If you want you can increase it. Yeah. This will be like fine for India. And as far as Karnataka is concerned, I think the content is proper. Only thing is like I should modify the name. That are the size for the district and I'm making it a bit bigger. Yeah. So once this is done, now we have all we have all the maps. So what we have to do is I need different frames because like it is not kind of looking good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add frames for all these. So now if you see I have added frame. Now this is this kind so kind of like looks like a map. But still we should beautify it. We should add all the required data sets or like required stuffs. Like there should be latitude, longitude, there should be a north arrow, and there should be like all the other requirements. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to like reduce the size of this map to some extent. 
so that like I will be able to add all the content inside. Yep. Let us make it as thick. Yeah. This will be like fine, so that I can add all the necessary content inside it. <coughs> now, the first thing that I have to add is the north arrow, or like. Yeah, let us add the north arrow first. For adding a north arrow, what you have to do is go to add picture, select the location where you need the north arrow to be placed. You will find different symbols. If you just scroll down over here, you will find different north arrows. Out of which you can select any one of the north arrow. I'm going to go with this particular one. So now, once you click on that, the north arrow will be placed over here. So now the north arrow is done. The next one which I am in need of is I will like focus on the on creating grids for this particular map. I don't need grid for these two because it kind, kind of becomes clumsy. Whereas for this particular uh, Kodagu district alone, I definitely I am in need of my particular latitude and longitude. So for adding latitude and longitude, what you have to do is go to grids. In grids option, you will find an option called add a new grid. Enable it. Select the grid one. And then you will find an option called modify grid. Click on it. Now you will get a list of details that like list of stuffs. So it will ask either it is a solid line, cross mark, markers or frames and annotations only. I prefer going with frames and annotations often, but in case if you need you can go with solid line also. I'm actually like giving the limit as 0.5 degree. So this kinds of kind of like works out uh, works out well for me offset so that like um, it kind of like matches uh, exactly to my requirements I'm just giving a normal offset just go to the grids I'm going to modify this grid I have given all the offsets now I'm just going to go with frames and annotations only that means only the values will be listed at the corner and in the frame it will ask you what type of frame you need either you need a zebra cut or you need exterior ticks only or interior ticks or line border it will ask you I will like go with the exterior tick right now maybe like zebra cut is one thing which will be like um, easy for like impress you but I am going with exterior ticks and if you scroll down you will find an option called draw coordinates click on that draw coordinates and you will find the latitudes and longitude listed over there and when it comes to the format you can select degree minute seconds as the format and then in the left it is horizontal so I'm making it as vertical ascending and in the right I'm making it as vertical descending so that the values doesn't look clumsy if you scroll down to the bottom after this coordinate what is the total number of precision required I'm selecting the precision as zero and we can also choose the font I'm actually choosing the font as Times New Roman I'm going to give it as bold and font size I'm going to increase it. Yeah, 18 will be fine. So now I created grid. Grid is actually done. What next? We need to have a scale bar. So for adding scale bar, like we have a direct option. First, what you have to do is select the map window. If you select India map, or this is actually map two, if you select map two, then for that particular window, you will get your scale. So what you have to do is, whatever the map that you want your scale to be sized, click that and then go to add item, add scale bar. Just make a single click, your scale bar will appear over there. So this is your scale bar and if you see in this main properties, it will show for which map it is applying. You can select double tick boxes or single tick boxes, whatever it is required. You can give whatever the segments that is required also, you can make, make use of it. So now I have inserted my scale bar. What do I need next? Maybe like if you want to add a title over there saying that this is Kodago district. I'm just clicking on this add item. You can find add label. You can make use of it. Kodago district. So font, I'm making it as Times New Roman. Bold. select here horizontal alignment and vertical alignment I'm adding a frame to it 
So now I have given my title also. The only thing that is left over is my legend. So to add legend, go to add item. You will find an option called add legend. You can click on it where you want your legend to be. And then click OK. Your legend will be automatically listed which holds all the data that are present in our QGIS window. What you have to do is you have to click on this auto update option and you can remove all the data that is not required. So in this particular place, I need the clipped because those are the places. It is named as clipped. I want to change it out. So I'm changing it as clicking on the pencil button and I'm changing it as clipped. It will get changed. So this, I'm not in need of it. I'm going to remove it. I'm not in need of it. I'm going to remove it. For a good history. College, I don't want all the other stuff. I need. What I'm going to do is this is India state boundary which is present over there. I'm going to make it as India Indian. Okay, I'm going to make it as Indian boundary. Next, for this, I'm going to make it as Karnataka boundary. This is not the exact color, so I'm removing it. You can actually like copy the name along. You can remove it because you can see that Karnataka is actually present in some other color. Next is this is Kodagu district boundary. Kodagu boundary. Yeah. So now all my labels are like done perfectly. The only thing is like I just need to have a title of this called as legend and maybe like if you want you can uh, add a frame to it and also like if you want you can change the fonts also title means that is going to be the legend so for that i'm changing the title as to font times new roman and 18 and you will see like group subgroup items so all these things are going to be items I'm going to change the font size to those two. So this is the font size. So once I made it bold, you can see how it got expanded. So based on that, you can actually like rectify all the stuff. In case you feel all these things are like closely packed, what you can do is we have an option called spacing over here. You can actually like arrange the spacing. There will be like line spacing. You can actually like increase the line spacing. All these stuffs can be actually done. Space between symbols, you can increase it. Label symbol also you can increase. It. So based on that, whatever it is, you can actually like modify it. So now I have my legend over here. I'll actually like place it in somewhere in here because I have my map set over here. So now I can move my map to some extent. Yeah. Now I guess like we have our uh, Study area map ready. If you want, like you can move your uh, Madikeri over here and also like you can move all these legend box towards this edge and your scale towards here. This will also like kind of work out. So it's all about beautification. So whatever the beautification that is required, we can actually like beautify it. So now if you see very clearly, like I have actually created a proper study area map whatever the thing that has to be present in a map is present over here and now we have to export this particular map so to export it what we have to do is go to layout you will find an option called export as image export as pdf export as svg to export it as an image just click on export as image you will be like able to like export it as your own image by default, make sure it is in 300 pixels so that it will give a good resolution. Okay, now we got the message saying that like the study area is successfully exported. You can go and double click on your study area. So this is our study area and you can find how could we actually like created our study area. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more updates and in case if you are in need of any specific tutorial please make sure to comment in the pro please make sure to provide it in the comments so that like it will help us in preparing more videos
Thank you.